Welcome back to What's Our Team Nibs. This is a bishop. It's the tier 5 British SPG. It's now the entry level for British SPGs in the uh, new paradigm. And uh, this one is located on the southwest spawn of Highway and it's under the command of Moose. Now he's recently just rebought his bishop. He sold his bishop and his uh, griller, but he was trying them out again. Moose is a bit of a French arty guy. He likes French arty, but he's trying some of the other ones again. And I think he'll like some of them. The bishop is based on the Valentine hull, as you can see. It looks like a Valentine tank. And in fact, actually, it was a stopgap until they could come up with a better design. It was uh, originally the bishops were armed with 25 pounder guns, which is the standard British artillery. This one's got the 4.5 inch howitzer which is capable of doing 450 alpha, penetrating 28 millimeters of armor, and it's got a base radius of 2.2 meters. But what's best about the Bishop is the reload time, 10.21 seconds, very, very quick indeed. And also that it's pinpoint accurate if you can actually dial in on the target. It takes it a little while to dial in, but once you actually get it dialed in on the target, you can literally chop the enemy to be death bit by bit another drawback of the bishop though is that it does have a rather short range which is why you've seen him move down the hill and he's now sitting next to the road that leads to the city and looking for a sight of the enemy so he can start hitting them of course part of the reason why the bishop does have a limited range is down to the fact that uh, the gun could not be elevated past a particular angle, which meant that you were restricted in how far you could throw the shell to hit the enemy. And what the bishop drivers used to do is they used to park it on a ramp. They actually build a little ramp and then drive the tank up onto the ramp so the gun was pointed further up into the sky, and that increased the actual range of the artillery. And it worked. It did work. You could actually increase the range of your bishop simply by parking it on an upslope. And funnily enough, it does work in the game as well. A lot of people have actually shown that if you park your bishop on a rise, like um, like you can see Moose has done now, he can actually increase the range of his uh, shots. He's decided there's nothing for him to shoot at there, so he's moving closer to the city. It does take a bit of a risk doing this, but it is worthwhile if you can get shots on the enemy. Now, most people, when they fire at a bishop, they fire at the hull. And that's the worst thing you can do, because the bishop is actually, as I said, a Valentine tank. And Valentine tanks are very strong in the hull. What they're not strong at is on that superstructure around the gun, the casement. That's the weak spot. But of course, most players don't know that. Arty players know it. Look, there's a kill. Took out the Stug 3G. One shot. Just goes to show how powerful this gun can be in the right hands. That 40 TP is on the move. He's trying to dial ahead of him. Gets a direct hit anyway for 147. Oh, he's stationary now. Can we get another round in to kill him? Going for the rear of him. Hits him again. Tracks him. Keeps him there. If he can get one more shot on target, he might be able to take the guy out. Rounds out. Oh, close. He got a low roll. But the next shot will definitely kill him. Almost loaded. Rounds out straight away. And it does kill him. Okay, we're looking at a T1 Heavy. It's a difficult shot because he's trying to thread it between two buildings. And I'm not sure he can do that. But he can certainly hit that M4A1 and he's going for that one instead. Rounds out. Direct hit. And the M4A1 didn't like that in the slightest. And um, they're getting rather close. So Moose is pulling back. There's only one enemy tank in sight at the moment. And that's the Sherman Jumbo. The M4A3 E2. He's pulling back a bit because he doesn't know where the other enemy tanks are. That might... Oh, there's the other one. The M4A1 on the move. On 
unfortunately got a bit of reticule bloom there, but he tried a shot and it missed. Well, that M4A1 is headed straight back to his own cap area because I think he realizes our guys are getting rather close. The Sherman Jumbo's hiding behind that building in an arty safe position. And despite the fact that the shell from the Bishop does actually fire, go up very high and come back down very quickly, that Sherman was staying arty safe. Now, can we get around into him if he pulls forward? Rounds out. Yes! Beautifully timed. He fired the shell right between the building. And the guy moved through the gap and then got hit inside. So he, he really did a kill steal there. Three kills now for Moose. I think he's gaining an appreciation for how good the, the uh, Bishop can be. It's a very underrated RT, but it actually has a lot of similarities between this RT and, of course, the Burt, the FB304. And there's one of those on the enemy team. T67. Oh, well, if, if he'd stayed in the spot where he was, Moose would have killed him. He's now motoring towards the enemy cap as fast as he can go. It is basically a walking tank, but the Valentine tank was actually quite a good tank in, in a sense. Well, it was very robust, and of course, um, I think the uh, Soviets liked it as well because it was so robust. Of course, the only major weak spot on a Valentine is that corrugated hull on the back cover covering the engine. And that's where they used to lay the shells when they were using the uh, it as a bishop. Oh, it's found the enemy RT. Fires a snapshot in, doesn't work. He's dialing in for the next shot. The, the Burt's on the move. He's headed this way. Maybe he knows where we are. But it doesn't matter anyway now because he's dead. <laughs> and that's another thing the bishop can do. It can shoot people in the face and wipe them out. Game over. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's a first mark of excellence for Moose in the bishop. He didn't get a lot of kills in that game or a lot of damage. He only got a second class tanker. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got nine and he got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. But the first mark is very welcome because it proves that you're back on schedule to uh, mastering this vehicle. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the M18 Hellcat. Got 1,482 hit points. But Moose wasn't that far behind. 1,237. If he'd done a few more hits, I think he probably would have got a high caliber after that game. When it came to kills, he did have the top number. Four kills for him. Three kills for the Hellcat. And three kills for the FB304 on the enemy team. Two kills for the T34 and the VK301D. When it came to base XP, it was the Churchill 1 who got the best. 840 for him, 767 for the Hellcat, and then Moose came in third with 642. He fired 13 rounds, got 8 direct hits, 1 penetration, 7 splash. Damage of 1,237 hit points, of which 397 were at more than 300 meters. So you can see he was very close to the enemy as he was doing that damage. Five enemy vehicles were damaged. Four were killed, and he earned 17,352 credits on a premium account, got 13,014 from personal reserves, total 39,042, and after ammunition resupply, took away 35,792 credits. He received 642 XP, got times two on this occasion, 963 from personal reserves, 482 from personal missions payout, and took away 3,371 experience points altogether. So the first mark's on, now he's got to get the second one. But I think you'll find, Moose, that the Bishop actually can be quite an OP tank because we do have members of Wat RT Noobs who've actually managed to get Radley Waters medals in the Bishop by literally carving through the enemy and tearing them up one by one. So if you ever get a hankling to see a Bishop getting a Radley Waters, look into our list. We've got a playlist called RT Radley Waters. And there's plenty of Bishop games in there where they've earned at least eight kills. So pay attention to that because you might then realize how good this tank can be. This RT can be in the right hands. 
Uh, but well done to Moose. If you enjoyed this replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.